Kia ora everyone and welcome alongside Joel Rindelob. We are ready to, for action. International Ice Hockey, Joel. This is big. This is actually bigger than big. This is huge. We haven't seen international ice hockey. Well, at least the Aussie side hasn't been here since 2006. So we are going to see a show tonight. Absolutely. So stay dialed in. Thank you very much for tuning into this live stream broadcast. They're just having a moment of silence uh, to remember Dale Harrop. So, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that uh, we observe this moment of silence with us in memory of one of our greatest ice blacks, number six, Dale Harrop, uh, who passed away in a tragic accident in December 2022. Uh, he's someone who embodied all it meant to be a great ice black, and he's behind a, a legacy of sportsmanship, kindness, and determination. Dale was a senior member of the New Zealand men's team and will forever be remembered in our hearts. And our teams gather here today to play the game we love. We do so in his honor. And that's Tomas landed to his left, and we are underway. That is Rob Hazelhurst, who has the puck here for the Aussies. And here's Chalice now. He'll break it out. Long pass for Ellis. Does a nice job to control that. There's a sure shot right on, but Charlie Smart is on it under control. That's the line that I think New Zealand's really got to look out for was those two CBR teammates because they know how to get it done. Now here's a turnover right in front and a blocker saved by Chaba. I had to really reach for that one. Another giveaway is number 16, Tyler Kubara. Had a nice shot on goal there. Forcing the Ice Blacks to regroup. Now in the far corner. Played over to Dag. Dag puts one towards the net. Shot, rebound, and a save made by Charlie Smart as he's once again tested. Yeah, stopping the Ice Black captain, Andrew Cox. Down low. And Landa spins away from Joyce. Centering feed here. There's a shot, rebound. Oh, how oh, did that wow, stay Wow, that was out? going straight to that far post, Joel. It looks like Chaba managed to use his jersey and body to stop that puck. As we see it here on the replay, Ozzy goes behind the net. Avoids the hit, spins off well, keeps control of the puck, passes in front, takes the one time, off balance. Chaba is there to cover it. Right to the stick of Webster, and now he chips it out. Here comes Viryasov. Viryasov trying to make a move, spins around one, but unable to pull oh, the trigger. Some and nice, sweet dangles, and he gets kind of hooked from the back. I think the referee's got an indication, yes, that will be the penalty here, Joel. So starting things off here will be Casey Kubera for the Australia Mighty Roos on the power play here for a minute and three. And now that's Strayer who'll dump it in. Or trying to beat Malloy to the puck. But said it's Virasov who's able to dig it out of the corner. Here's a turnover, shot right on, and a blocker saved by Charlie Smart. Who had and once again, here's Hazelhurst. Hazelhurst puts one towards the net, but a glove saved by Chaba as he was able to see that one all the way. Yeah, now Pataki plays it down low towards Karuana, there's a shot and a goal! One-timer feed, and the Australians take the first lead. Yeah, they draw first blood here, getting that opening goal. It's taken almost 26 minutes of play as the defenseman hands it down in the corner and then it's received behind the net. Feeds it in front, open there, and gets that one-time shot, and it just squeaks through Chaba. Opening this game up for a lead to the Australian. So Burt Malloy has it. He'll go cross ice. He finds Virasov. And up to Kamenzin. Leaves it right back to Virasov. Over to Kamenzin again. He puts one right on. Save made. Rebound still loose. Chaba. Oh, and they and score. And he can't quite get it a goal. Batted it out of the air. Back in. What great passing by the Aussies. Literally keeping the puck away from the Kiwis. And making it look fairly easy as the shot comes through. Deflected in front. On the backhand was number eight. Burt Malloy with his first goal of the game, and it's a two-goal lead for the Mighty Roo. And now here comes Casey Kubra. He's got a little bit of space, trying to go back door, but Pataki couldn't quite get a stick on it. Well, that puck was up around his chest level, so kind of hard when it's that high. And now here's an opportunity for the Ice Blacks. Ellis, three on one, shot, oh, what a save, rebound to the goal! An own goal scored. And the Ice Blacks get themselves on the board. Well, there you go, Joel. It just takes a shot on net for something to happen. Fraser Ellis gets the puck. As you'll see here, the Kiwis looking up ice. Puck comes into the middle. Then he gets it. Pass over to Ellis. Makes the shot off the blocker, off the save. And it goes, unfortunately, off the skate of Bailey Kubra back into the goal. Who's 
usually got that thing on a slow oh, opportunity for Cox as he just missed. And he misfires there. Again, they're looking to do that. Oh, breakaway here, 17. Ozzy coming in. Oh, and he's hooked down by Daigle. Caruana oh, could not pull the trigger on that opportunity, and now we got some end-to-end -end action as Kozak takes it into the zone. Leaves it for Burns all alone. Oh, rebounded and again. Score. Andrew Cox ties the game. What a shift in momentum, Joel. That is unbelievable. Kiwi striking to tie this game up. With their last two shots, they have got two goals. That's great shooting percentage. Kiwis break over the line. A little bit of a back end. It's actually the Aussies that pass that puck inadvertently to Burns. Polozov gets it over, and Cox, with the goalie down, he puts it in that open net. What a goal. One of the trying to get a change, but unable to do it so. And here comes Australia. And now Eden with some chance. Chris Eden all alone. Eden and he shoots and a huge save by Smart. This is one of three games this weekend. So stay tuned for some great ice hockey action. International, I might add. International ice hockey is back here in Auckland, New Zealand. Tied two apiece with just 20 minutes to play. That is broken up by Kubra. And now he gets it right back. Casey Kubra into the zone. Trying to get around tap and centering feet. There to go! It's Darge Darge for Australia, and they are back up on top. 3-2 just like that as they strike. Almost like a Taipan or a brown snake. Man, oh man, that was fast as you see. The puck gets brought over the line. Nice hard drop the D down. Finds the man in that high slot, uncovered. One-time shot between the legs, just beats Chubb a five-hole. It's Hazelhurst up the wall. He's able to get that towards Taylor, and then it's Todd again. Todd into the zone. With a centering feed shot and a goal! Tomas Landa puts the Australian team up a deuce. Australia striking, making a two-goal lead, and then they have a two-on-two. -two. It's a good shape, but a stumble by the defenseman here allows Todd to make a play around, and the other D down on the ice, not in the best position, trying to cover both grounds, and that results in the Australians doubling up on their lead. Taking but Ellis was there, now another turnover. Shot right in front, off the iron! Great opportunity for Bo Taylor, but he cannot convert. He leaves that for Corona. Brings it into the zone, absorbs a hit from Polzoff, but still with possession of the puck. Corrado puts it in, and he scores. scores! What a goal! That's highlight reel material there. Matt Corona with the goal, and Australia up by three. Wow, as he takes the hit, absorbs, makes a play, comes around. Power moved to the net, gets Chaba down. Upstairs we go. As it pops out to Virasov, now a two-on-one with Webster. Virasov over to Webster, but just floated over his stick. Didn't have the right sauce on that one. <laughs> but the Kiwis come right back the other way. But and that, that will, do will do it. At the end of regulation, it is a 5-2 win for the Australia Mighty Roos, and they're going to like what they see from their side.